Even as the Justice and Legal Committee set May 13th as the vetting date, Justice Martha Kome is already embroiled in a legal battle with LSK President Nelson Harvey. Kome has threatened to Harvey if he fails to apologize and retract a memoranda he submitted to the JSC questioning her integrity. She threatens to sue him. In a demand letter to Harvey, Kome through her lawyer says the contents of the memoranda injured her character portraying her as corrupt and easily manipulated by the executive. In the memoranda, Harvey questioned Kome's suitability as Chief Justice, saying she had acted with favoritism in three words and rather in three matters that came before her. Chemutai Goin reports. As Martha Kome awaits her approval hearing by the National Assembly Justice and Legal Affairs Committee set for 13th May, members of the public having been implored to submit memoranda on her suitability ahead of the exercise, but Kome still has unfinished business with the president of the Law Society of Kenya, who filed adverse memoranda against her to the Judicial Service Commission. Through her lawyers, PM Kamara and Associates, Justice Martha Kome has given Javier a seven-day ultimatum to first withdraw, retract, revoke and take back the memoranda he filed before the JSC. To unconditionally and unequivocally apologize in writing to her and that he also immediately admits liability for defamation and libel against her, failure to which she will initiate legal proceedings against him. But Harvey in a tweet seemed unfazed. His response to the letter, let us see how far she goes with this demand and attitude. Hers may be the shortest stint at the helm of the judiciary if this is anything to go by. We will help her shorten it further if help is what the good judge wants. Harvey in the memoranda had questioned Cormer's handling of three cases, one between the NCPB and ERAD supplies in 2012, a night sitting of the Court of Appeal on the eve of the repeat presidential election in 2017, and an appeal by the LSK on the election of its male representative to the LSK. Harvey says, and I quote, Honorable Lady Justice Kome is predisposed to decisions influenced by nepotism, favoritism and improper motive. She easily and consistently bends to the demands of the executive in matters before her. The matters formed part of her interview by the Judicial Service Commission vetting panel. Don't you have an obligation, for example, to ask, uh, has the Chief Justice authorized us to sit after hours? What is your responsibility? Uh, as long as the president of the court had already prepared the course list, empaneled the bench, called me to sit, and I myself using my own discretion as a judge and a senior judge appreciating that this is a matter of national importance that requires an intervention, I knew when we are dealing with the presidential disputes, everything is urgent. You saw the Supreme sitting through midnight. Harvey, who has also criticized the hurried process of recruiting the CJ, has threatened to petition the National Assembly to initiate the removal of the JSC commissioners if they fail within seven days to make transparent the scorecard of the 10 persons who are interviewed for the position of Chief Justice. Harvey, who claims that the JSC commissioners altered marks for one of the candidates interviewed, rendered the process a sham. He says, and I quote, in the absence of a marking scheme or scorecard upon which each candidate is assessed, the credibility of scores given to individual candidates and skewed in favor of one is an issue that cannot be overlooked. End quote. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV.